He calls constantly, and every phone call turns into a fight. The cracks are starting to show in Teresa and Joe Giudice's marriage. I'm Christina Garibaldi, and this is Us Daily. While we know that Joe and Teresa's marriage is headed for divorce, what we didn't know is that nearly 20 years ago, Joe forced Teresa to sign a prenup. Are you kidding me? Nope. We're not. Teresa dropped that tidbit of information on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. A week before we were getting married, Joe asked me to sign a prenup. And I just felt like when you love someone, you don't do that. I wasn't going to go through with it, but being Italian, you know, I have old school parents, that's an embarrassing thing to call for a wedding. I didn't even read it. I just said, I want you to put one thing in there. If you ever cheat, prenup goes void. No word if that prenup is now void. Do I feel like he was faithful? Yeah. No. You don't? No. Okay, well this is new information. Do I feel like he was faithful? Yes. No. Okay. Now the revelation comes as the two got into a heated argument. You left me with nothing and I paid off all the debt, taking care of our four daughters, doing it all by myself. And I'm spending a lot of money on lawyers. Mom, this is getting so ridiculous now. I don't even know why you guys are arguing. It's so stupid. Can't we all just get along? I didn't want to get married, all right? Well, I guess you're getting your wish, Joe. After the episode aired, Joe defended himself, writing, hmm, after all these years, I don't think it's a secret we fight, but I love being married. It's so great to find one special person like Teresa. Wait, I'm confused. I thought he didn't even want to get married. All right, you're giving me headaches. Goodbye. Like your conversations are ridiculous. Well, at least someone is making sense in all of this. Now, Us Weekly confirmed in December that the two have separated, but have no plans on divorcing. You know, you marry somebody, they're supposed to protect you, and then everything came crashing down. Do you just want to end it now? A source told us at the time, Teresa and Joe talked about their future when she and the girls were in Italy and decided it was best for them to separate. Neither of them wanted to be in a long-distance relationship. Now, Teresa and Joe look to be moving on. Joe is spending the new year hitting the gym, while Teresa may or may not be dating the pool boy. Wait, how long do I know you? 41 years. Anthony DiLorenzo was seen with his arm wrapped around Teresa as they grabbed a bite to eat in New Jersey on December 21st. Whatever floats her boat. I mean, if she's into, uh, you know, whoever she's into, then that's fine. Looks like the Joe and Teresa love story is officially coming to a close.